You're beautiful, dog. Caroline is one of the nearly 10% of Canberrans living in poverty. She moved to the bush capital six months ago to support her daughter and has struggled to find work and affordable housing. And she only recently found a room in shared emergency accommodation. Before that, I lived in my car for a while. Um, before I found this suitable house, and I found it's quite difficult, especially the camera is very cold, and I got a lung infection just before I found this house. And it took me for six months to find this house. For example, for one bedroom house, it's about $350 per week. It's almost a just cost the job seekers a whole weekly allowance. It's very difficult. So even though I have an uh, MBA degree and I have worked in administration and the business uh, for a long time, it's still very difficult for me to get a suitable position. Charity St. John's Care provides free food, essential items and services to struggling Canberrans. I think last year we saw 1,100 families and already this year in the first four months we've seen over 500. So we're well on track to smash last year's numbers. The price of living just in general has risen significantly, which unfortunately means disadvantaged and vulnerable Canberrans probably hit hardest. Um, but on top of that, we're also seeing a whole new clientele, people with mortgages and car loans who probably have never accessed the service before, are coming here for basic support with things like food, toiletries and cleaning supplies. So it's, um, it's hard to see. As an organisation that receives no funding from the ACT government, um, we do solely rely on the generosity of the Canberra community. Heading into winter, there is a bit of concern that we might not be able to keep up with the, the increasing demand that our clients have on our, on our service. Yep. Is that concerning? Yeah, look it is, it is. Um, we're obviously using every avenue possible to reach out to schools and other organisations who might be willing to support us, um, but we'll see how we go. A lot of the problems that people are facing are probably overlooked. Um, as I said, the numbers have increased significantly, our clientele's changed. There's obviously a real need for, for these services within the community. And I think a lot of the time that those kinds of things are overlooked. It's really helpful. I found the staff here, you know, they have a golden heart. They are willing to help and they really help people here, not only me and also other people. Unemployment rate is the historic low, it's about 400%, but still lots of people are looking for a job and struggling to find a job, and especially struggling to find a suitable house in Canberra City. I'm just trying my best to live in, um, with dignity and uh, trying to chin up. I'm Catholic. I have great faith to God. Uh, and also I want to set up a good example for my daughter and for my son and also for someone who yeah, in the same situation as me.